Oh, okay. We are here with Farouk from Fedship. So, Farouk, how are you doing, sir? Good you are. Well, thank you. You are between two yetis. You are episode two. Oh, thank you. Between two yetis here at the we're Palm normally, Beach show. We're normally used to be number one. Got to be number two sometimes, unfortunately. But uh, we'll, we'll cut that out and then make sure he's number one. Actually, okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, <it's> okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. With you. So, Farouk, uh, yeah. you're obviously with Fedship. That everybody who's going to be watching this knows. Uh, what is your role? I'm the marketing and brand director for Fetchit. Okay. So uh, everything that has to do with uh, uh, with creating a shop window for Fetchit that has uh, that goes to via my desk. For, and you're obviously based in the Netherlands then. In the where, Netherlands, yes. We're all are. we're all based in the Netherlands. We only have one company that is not in the Netherlands, and that's Fetchit uh, Americas mm -hmm. here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, but all, everything else is run from from the from the Netherlands. Very very cool. And how is business going? I mean, I see a, a beautiful, beautiful like, savanna coming out. Occasionally now, so it's uh, business pretty good. You guys cranking hard. Fetchip is uh, uh, is doing uh, okay. We have a very broad um, order for order portfolio mm -hmm. from from uh, 34 meter yachts up to uh, up to 110 meters. Um, look at our, looking at uh, looking at that. We we uh, we think it's quite a healthy order book. Mm -hmm. If you look at the industry as a whole, from 30 meters and up. Uh, there are still some challenges in yes, the industry. Absolutely. And uh, so, with that at the backdrop of what is happening and how Fetchip is uh, doing, we think we're doing quite well. Very, yes. very good. Very well. Anything new coming out that we can look for this year that's going to be a game changer like Savannah was? Yes. Well, we have the game changers for Fetchip are the, uh, for, for instance, the 34 meters mm -hmm. that we are uh, delivering right now. And that's kind of a and smaller boat than what you're normally used to, right? Yes, because we normally we build 40 meters and up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what what this project is is a uh, uh, is a project that is basically a simultaneous one project, one off of five yachts, because wow. it was uh, not um, created for five different clients that we are trying to sell to. Mm -hmm. No, it was a project that started off as one project for a group of clients. So we had the order before we started building. Interesting. Of the five. And obviously since you're going to add 34 meters, you, back in five, six years ago, boats were just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger mm -hmm. now. Is that still the trend or is it people are just want to diversify a little bit more? Or The the, uh, the average size of yachts is still growing. Mm -hmm. I do think there is some form of saturation looking at the broadness of the uh, uh, of the industry at the moment, you see uh, quite a high rise of uh, the the lower end of the industry. Mm -hmm. What I mean is the underside of the market up to 40 meters. So that brings down the the average. Gotcha. Um, but but uh, you can still see that that there are a few projects that are really uh, outstanding in that sense in in, in size. Um, if you look at our order book, uh, seven of the six of the of the. Of the total order book are, are 90 meter plus projects. Yes, wow, that's very impressive. Yes, so uh, uh, 11 out of the total order book are 70 meter plus. So you can imagine that that has quite some impact. You throw some good numbers out there. What's your total number of book? We have 18. 18. Yeah. Good lord. And that's just not to dis disclose what we're doing at the moment. Fantastic. And quick thing about the boat show. How do you, obviously this is your, I heard this is your first time here at the Palm Beach show. Yes. How has it been so far as we're on day three? Have you seen any good traffic of qualified people or? It is very difficult to uh, evaluate at the moment mm -hmm. because um, obviously we don't need a, a huge traffic to, well, to have a good show. Mm -hmm. uh, the first uh, observation that I would make is that it's uh, very easy going, it's very, uh, there's less cacophony, there's mm -hmm. a lot of time to really spend quality time with guests. Yep. Um, I think uh, people are very comfortable, they're swaying their way over the uh, walking the docks. Mm -hmm. So that is that is a good feel, there's a good vibe in this uh, at this show. Absolutely. For now I do think that this year is, 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 is maybe a little less crowded as, as uh, because I've been visiting several times. Yep, gotcha. And it was, there were, it was much more traffic, so I, I cannot assess uh, the quality of the total number of visitors. So we have to see what we have done so far, and uh, we can do that only at the end. Perfect. Well, we are between two yetis. Brooke, thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. You know. It'll be frying quietly. Frying. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is episode three of season two 
of uh, Between the Yetis. We're here with Ken Hinkling. How are you doing, Ken? Fabulous. How are you? Recently of As Knobel, right? But now you're out on Nobel, yes, the world's largest paint company. And you were there for what? 30, 40, 50? 21 years. Jesus. Sorry, that makes it funny. But, uh, <laughs> so, 21 years. But you might have to. You might have, have to a small gale <laughs> blowing through here. You might have to abandon that. So we'll cut that and splice this.